Got this expensive old camera and I don't even know how to work it. Like, <sighs> buying all this stuff. Don't even know what to do with it. Okay. But yes, you guys, this is your girl Jasmine Yvonne, and I am back to talk about what is known the infamous third semester of nursing school. Dun dun dun. So if you are currently in nursing school, about to start nursing school, or you are in maybe second semester, or maybe you just asked a nurse, like, what's the hardest part of nursing school? Probably more than likely someone has told you third semester of nursing school third semester has been freaking me out way before i even got into nursing school i'm talking about just because you know when i got accepted into nursing school as most students were so excited so we like try to find all these nursing students we try to follow all these nurses we try to go on different like pages like on facebook i added like all these different like pages for nurses i mean i was on a mission and most of the time you know that's the question people are like what's the hardest part of nursing school um what's the hardest semester and nine out of ten they're gonna say third semester is the hardest freaking semester now what makes third semester the hardest semester and what i feel like you know how my semester went pretty much Oh yeah, and just FYI, like I did do good this semester through the grace of God. I got an 80 in OB slash P's and I got an 83 in med search too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have been getting all B's. I was really hoping that this semester I would get an A, but I'm just gonna be 3.0 in it up in nursing school, so but I'm not complaining. So for our third semester, I did kind of touch on this in um my previous video, but pretty much this semester is more content, um, more work, and also just more critical thinking based. Um, pretty much the biggest class, like the most to me, PEDS and OB had a lot of stuff. And in um, a BSN program, it's different because in a BSN program, they break up PEDS and OB. But in an ADN program, we have it all together. So you have way more chapters on the test and way more material per test that you have to study for versus a BSN um, class. So that's what I think made this semester for me in an ADN program very hard because it was so much stuff crammed into these two classes. It's just like, oh, what the heck? So... And for instance, like our first test had like 14 chapters on it. I think our second test had like 7, 8, but they were longer chapters. So it's pretty much every test we had a ton, a ton of chapters. Granted, our instructor would let us know what to pay attention to, what she saw on ATI, what she think will be NCLEX kind of knowledge. But at the same time, I mean, if you have 15 chapters, I mean, if you tell me 10 things out of each chapter, that's a lot of stuff to remember. But yeah, so... Same thing with med surge. Um, it was more content from second semester. Our tests were more like on one specific thing. For instance, we're having a test over respiratory. We're having a test over diabetes. Our test is over the heart. We just had to focus on that versus this semester we had a test. It was over endocrine, musculoskeletal, skin, eyes, ears. Five different things we had to focus on for this test. We would have a test it was over you know um what else we had a test over like uh hiv aids allergy all this stuff um women problems men problems like prostate breast cancer um all that stuff like that so and if you had something for lab like say you learned something in a lab like we had to learn about like different reactions with blood transfusions, how to do blood transfusions, that would be on the test as well. So it was a lot of mixture of material because again, they have to get you all the knowledge that you need, but also they have to cram it all in these classes. So you have a lot more chapters to look over for a test. Now, not only is it more work chapters wise, but their longer chapters is more information. It's more to learn. You have to really, this is the semester that I really had to like figure out how to really pick out what's important and how to really study productively because I'm going to tell y'all now that method that I used before is not going to work when you get into third semester. It's just not going to work. I tried the first test and when I tell you if you're trying to have a life, if you work, if you have 
school it's hard to do that so i'm going to tell you guys them like what i did but that whole reading the chapter reading the book a couple times and doing note cards is not going to work because you have so little time so little time um other things too like you have way more going on in your week um in my ADM program the most i would have really in a week was like two days last semester it was just one week that was really busy i had like four or five days i had something to do but this semester i would always know for sure for sure three days out the week i was going to have to do something and then for school I and mean, then if i wanted to work four or five days out the week that was my week and i had to squeeze in studying on top of that and if you have a life <laughs> family if you have a man if you have a girlfriend you have to try to fit that into everything as well so it was a lot there are weeks that like the week before our finals for five days i had to go to school i had a clinical i had a clinical for a test i had ati test um there are weeks where we had to go and do ati proctor exams we had to come to school after class or we had to stay later after class it was just a lot of stuff like that we had a lot more ati work we had a lot more practice tests we had to do a lot more remediation because again they're preparing you for the NCLEX so they want you to see why you missed something and to really understand um we just had a lot more just work um we had a project we just had a lot more stuff to do for clinicals we had a lot more paperwork we had to do um you know instead of us having a couple of care plans we had to do a care plan like every single week um, we had to do a patho form which is pretty much me saying my patient has diabetes and i had to really break down what diabetes was what i would do for this patient what meds i would give them why i would give this meds what tests i would do we had to do a couple of those um also we have more patients at clinical we had two patients it was also expected more of us in clinical and just period they wanted us to go from because in first semester it's a lot of basic stuff you can get through your first semester of nursing school without even pop probably even having a book some people I couldn't but some people really did not really look at their book because it's a lot of just basic stuff it's kind of like the same stuff over and over again sex semester is more patho based because again a lot of your tests are just on one specific thing like diabetes respiratory the heart so pretty much the gist of it is just can you understand that when this is malfunctioning what you have to look for like like a lot of the questions was like the heart is doing this what should you look for of course output's going to be less Da, 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 you know this might happen it was a lot of basic do you just understand that if this goes wrong what will you do third semester is more so like okay you know the basics you know this you know this can happen with this now we want you to think deeper than that and figure out what else can go wrong or you know see through the lines pretty much they want you to really start understanding how to really critically apply information and also to how to answer questions because a lot of these questions were trickier and they required you to think a lot deeper and a lot of the questions I didn't know straight off the bat what the answer was you had to really walk yourself through it like for a lot of tests especially med surge the one of the tests I did the highest on I got an 88 when I tell you a lot of the questions I was like what the hell is this but I had to really walk myself through the questions and really think critically like, okay, I'm a nurse. What do I know about this? What do I know about this patient? You know, like endocrine. Okay, I know this patient is going to go through this, this, this. What can this cause? What issue can this cause? And then I would have to just weed out the answers. And I'll be like, this is the only... Sometimes I don't know why that's the answer. But I know like it can't be this. It can't be that. That's not nothing. That don't got nothing to do with this. So this has to be the right answer. And that's what third semester is. It's pretty much them seeing you got the basics. Can you now apply this information, this new more in-depth information and figure out what you need to do as a nurse? Because in reality nursing school is just trying to prepare you really honestly for the NCLEX a lot of people think nursing school is going to prepare you how to be an amazing nurse you're going to come out of here swinging meds swinging Dilaudid swinging morphine and doing no the biggest part for nursing school honestly is to pass the NCLEX it's teaching you how to think like a nurse that's the biggest part of nursing school that's why they pound your head with questions they say do in case questions they say do practice questions they say do case studies because they want you to learn how to think like a nurse because in the real world 
you know you're not going to have a book right there i mean you can but in like so if something's happening quick you have to think on your feet and understand why this is happening and figure out what i need to do next um and understand just the body in general because a lot of times with nursing if you and this is why you know i'll get into how i study this is why it's good to do practice questions let me touch on that so yeah so that was pretty much why this semester was so hard a lot more content harder content and they expected more of you as far as critical thinking wise and this is why i think a lot of people struggled because uh, we did lose a lot of students i'm not gonna lie to you guys my class we lost a couple students in both opps and ministers because you know when you get out of um fundamentals in like second semester you have to change how you think because they're expecting more of you and sometimes it's hard for people to critically think and this is a fact a lot of people don't know how to take okay i know that you know um someone with cancer you know they're on chemo okay i know they're on chemo what can this do to them you know sometimes people can't take that and understand like in a nursing way what to do with this person so it could be a struggle for you and i'm not gonna lie to you guys if you don't know how to critically think you need to really really press that so that goes into how i started to study because i had to change how i studied like i literally was like i don't have time for this i told you guys before i would take my book and i would read it at home and i would read it a couple times and i would do note cards i cannot do that no more third semester i had to figure out another way to study because again if you have ob test 15 chapters um master's test six chapters you can't sit here and deep read that book and I don't even deep read now, but I really could not because you don't have no time trying to fit in work, trying to fit in school, trying to fit in sleep. It's hard to do that. And I refuse to be a student out here looking crazy, stressed out, depressed. No, I want to be a nurse, but I refuse to let my health go down the drain. And I refuse to just not have a life at all. So I had to figure something out to get good grades, but also to get this job done. <laughs> so... Pretty much what I would do is I had to start bringing my books to class. And I have never brought my books to class. Unless the teacher said bring it to class, I never brought it because I just hated carrying them. But this semester, honey, I had my little bag. No, my big bag. And I was toting my book bag to class because I had to. Because, and I this is why I tell you guys, definitely if you're like me, you're like, I don't like taking my book to class. Or you take your book, but you don't really utilize it in class. This is the semester to utilize it. Take your book to class and I would highlight as the teacher was talking. Sometimes if they were talking slow, I would just go ahead of them and I would highlight what's important, what's in my notes, key terms, labs. Again, I would do the same process, you know, like nursing, intervention, diagnosis, a little bit of patho, um, any tests that they need to be ran and any teaching that needs to be taught about whatever we're learning about. I would still do that. But I would just have my book in class because in nursing school, your classes are longer. You have class. I'm in class for like three hours. So by the time my teacher's done lecturing, I didn't already highlighted my book. So I can go home and read through my book and I can cut my studying down way, way, way down. Because I don't have to sit there, read and highlight. I could just open my book and read. And if I see something that I might have missed, I'll just highlight that. So I had to start doing that because that cut my studying down way way less because i was like let me just get this all done in class i'm already sitting here for two hours three hours i might as well um i also stopped doing note cards to replace note cards um now if something i was really trying to remember something i would rewrite it out like we had to learn like the vaccinations for kids and i did rewrite that out like a whole bunch of times but i did not do like i did before like with the note cards because it was so much content i tried that on one of my tests I think the first test and I felt like I didn't remember anything that I wrote on the note cards because it was so many note cards and y'all know I already told y'all note cards aren't meant to be thick like you're only supposed to have a couple because it's only supposed to be for stuff you really don't remember but if you have 50,000 chapters that's gonna be a lot of stuff you might not remember so the more note cards the less it's gonna help you so I had to stop doing that and I kind of replaced that with just a lot of questions this semester I did like a billion gazillion NCLEX questions like when I tell y'all I utilize my NCLEX book I utilize my NCLEX book I've been using my Saunders um, NCLEX RN book and I did questions I would read through that book because 
I love the NCLEX books because they take what you're learning and they condense it to what's important. Like they condense it into like a little bit of patho, nursing interventions, drugs, diagnosis, and that's it. They just give you what you need and then they don't give you all that other fluff that books would do for like do. And they also give you practice questions at the end. And then if you like log on online, usually they have an online system with whatever book. Again, I use the Saunders one because it goes with my textbooks. They give you a ton of practice questions, like sometimes like 200, 300 practice questions online. So I would do a ton of those questions, like a ton. I would try to do like I would read a chapter. So I would be in class. I would highlight my book and then maybe like a week before a test, 10 days, two weeks before a test, I would, you know, start reading my chapters like every day. I'll be like, all right, I'm going to read chapter five. OK, next day I'm going to read chapter 10. Next day I'm going to read chapter 11. And then after I would read my chapter of what I only highlighted, not everything, only things that are important, I would do a ton of practice questions. I would try to do like 100 questions, sometimes like 80, but I would try to get through at least like 100 questions. And by the end of the week, I would have done a couple hundred questions. And I would just keep doing a whole bunch of questions. I would use the NCLEX book. Um, if I could find questions, I would. I also watched Register Nurse RN on YouTube. Her videos are freaking life-saving. Watch her videos if you do not watch her videos. I will put her link below because she's freaking God sent. But I would watch her videos and she has um, questions. So I would do her questions. She also has notes. So I would look at her notes. I would look at her questions because the more questions you do, the better. No matter where they're coming from, the more the better. So I would do her questions. I would watch her videos. I would look at her notes. And that's literally all I would do. I would read through my chapters literally like one time. If it's a chapter that I couldn't really grasp, like for instance, with the endocrine, um, I had a hard time remembering what did what <laughs> for a minute. Like I was like, okay, so what messes with this? What messes with that? I was having a hard time grasping that. So I had to read that chapter like a couple of times. But like say if you read the one chapter, you get the gist of it, you do practice questions, you're doing pretty good on the practice questions, don't worry about that. Whatever you're struggling on, that's what you want to focus more on, especially before a test. So again, I would read through my chapters and like if it's a couple days before a test, I'm like, dang, I do not know what the heck my thyroid does. I would read through that chapter again, I would do more practice questions. And then by like close to the, the test, like a day or two before the test, I would just do a whole bunch of practice questions and whatever I was missing the most on, that's the only thing I would focus on. So if I did 200 questions and I kept missing questions about the muscle skeletal system, I'm just going to focus on that. And then I would just give it to God. <laughs> like before a test, I was not staying up all night. I was going my butt to bed like 9 o'clock, honey. I was in the bed and I was like, I would pray and I'll be like, just use your critical thinking skills jazz but you learn and this is why i'm saying this is so important for third semester the more questions you do the better you'll get at answering questions you the less you have to study there was tests in math search i bet our our fourth test our fourth test when i tell y'all because that week was like hell week we had all this stuff we had to do i was leaving out of town so I was trying to study a little bit while I was out of town, but I did not study a lot. I said like a couple of days and I did an 88 on that test. And that's how it shows that when you learn how to answer questions, especially in med surge, honey, your life will be saved. Now, OB and PH, you do have to know the material. So you do have to kind of read your book and do a lot more practice questions and really kind of learn the material. But for the most part, with any NCLEX type of questions, if you learn how to answer questions and you know like the basics of what you're learning about, you will study a lot less. So this is why I've been emphasizing because some people in nursing school feel like I shouldn't have to do NCLEX questions. I shouldn't have to go buy NCLEX books. I should be able to use my textbook and I should be straight and that's all I have to do. But don't think that way because the more NCLEX type of questions you do, the more time you put in doing questions and learning how to work through questions, the better, for one, the better your odds will be for passing the NCLEX. And for two, you will be able to ski, not ski, but like maneuver through tests a lot easier. Because I would find myself again, you looking at test questions, you don't know what the heck it's talking about, but you know how to maneuver through a question. You know the basics, you know, you understand, okay, 
I know that with musculoskeletal this is this or I know okay like they're talking about um traction like there's different traction some are like outside the skin some are like in the skin whatever so if you know if you just know okay traction is within the whole skin but what 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 is this talking about but if you know okay infection you know how to look about pulses because of course it's in the skin so if I mean if an infection happens or something happens or compartment syndrome happens I need to make sure for this so if you know all that or you just know the basics like well common sense okay someone has a cast what should I look for it will help you a lot it will help you maneuver through questions really easily so this is why this semester I pounded questions like that was my main study it was literally like I read my book a little bit and I do questions and I just pound myself with questions because once you learn how to pet and you can ask other nurses and I'm pretty sure other nursing students who follow me feel the same way because I have heard this from other nurses that have said once I got into fourth semester I was doing so much better on tests because and studying so much less because I kind of figured out how to answer these questions and I was wondering I was like how the heck what are they talking about but now I see it because really it does like I'm telling y'all like if once y'all do a lot of questions and really learn how to critically think and work through questions you will be really successful in nursing school and not have to put as much time and energy and studying as you did before um so that's really really what I did so yeah for the most part their semester is it horrible it's pretty awful as far as just how much stuff you have to do but one thing I can just leave y'all with and tell y'all is that if y'all stay on top of everything if you guys make sure that you're doing your stuff on time bring your books to class try to find ways to cut your studying you will be okay because if you try to do everything at home or you tell, your, tell yourself I'm you know I'm gonna highlight my book at home I'm gonna read my chapter at home you're probably not gonna do it so try to utilize your time in class try to do stuff that you don't have to study as much you know try to stay as organized as you can um because it's a lot and definitely take it seriously as far as like questions and case studies and doing all that stuff don't blow that off because it will really help you in the long run um if you need help ask for help but definitely the biggest thing is stay on top of everything and really start doing questions and learning how to critically think because that will save you third semester. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say, you know, it's not going to be hard. It's not as awful as people made it seem. Like I thought it was going to be like hell on wheels. The sun is like rising. Ah, like it's all in my face. But it's not as awful as people made it seem but it is hard and again we did lose a lot of students you know I was lucky and blessed enough that I didn't have to really put so much stress on myself come finals but it is a hard semester and you definitely have to really work hard stay organized and you will get through it but yes that is just my tidbit for third semester and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys need any more advice for third semester please let me know I will I did not forget about the other videos you guys asked me to do. I just was kind of trying to enjoy my little break from having to worry about school. So I will get back to trying to film more videos over break for you guys. And we are finally in my last semester of nursing school. That is so freaking crazy, y'all. Like, we're almost there. Y'all know I'm going to let y'all know. Precepts in, all that good stuff. Graduation, we're going to be riding out. We're going to be rolling together, y'all. So thank you guys. God bless you guys and I will see you next time.